In this video, I'm going to show you how to use CoAssemble. So Articulate Rise has not released their AI assistant yet, and they haven't said how much that's going to cost or what kind of features are going to be available. Uh, so until then, and maybe even after it's released, depending on the cost and the quality, CoAssemble can be a great alternative. I, this has just been existing for like months. I don't even know how long. I stumbled across it because I was hired to do a job to research all of the learning and development tools that are available that use AI that can speed along the course production process. And actually, I've, I've previewed 20 to 30 different programs and each of them solve um, a small slice of the problem, but I've yet to find anything that solves all the problems until this. Now, this does not create videos, so that's the missing link on CoAssemble, but it does everything else. When I found this, I totally, it, it blew my mind, honestly, that this even exists and it's just sitting here like I haven't even heard about it. I just feel like it's out there in the internet just waiting to be discovered. So let me show you what it does. So first of all, you can start from scratch and build a course, but based on what I'm going to show you with the document a course and the generate a course, you're going to learn how to build within the builder. So I'm not going to show you that feature. The other option you can do is to generate a course. So this is, you won't even believe this. Okay. So I want to know how to go viral on social media. That's what I want my course to be about. And then it'll ask you, do you want it to be straight to the point, balanced, or like to really cover everything? We're going to go with comprehensive. It's going to cover everything. And we want it to be energetic. And then you get to pick a theme, which is really just a color. Just Actually, I like black. Okay. So it's going to work its magic. You're going to watch it be built here in front of your eyes. So here's how it's organized while we're waiting on that. Over here are all of your panels. So these aren't really pages. These are panels that will be, you know, you'll swipe through throughout the course. So you have up here is the starting screen. And it's, see, you notice it's built it all for you. This is a sample interaction. And you'll notice, well, I shouldn't even be explaining this. It's jumping around as it's building. So let me just wait. I'm just excited to jump in because it has all kinds of interactions that are automatically built. And yeah, I mean, you don't even have to, you just go through and preview it and make sure it's good. If you're someone who sells courses, like, uh, you can have like 20 courses out by the end of the day by doing this. It's, it's unbelievable. Okay. So anyway, you can see here, this is our starting screen on every page. You can change the layout. It will have some layout options. So on this, we could have an image or not. We could add a background image and then over here, you have some different what, things that you can display if you wanted to add the time estimate and how long this course is going to take. We'll say this is going to take 20 minutes. Um, you also have some text options and you can change the background color. So there will be some options for every screen or every panel here and which are going to vary based on the type of content. Okay, so this is telling us about going viral and what it means. And then here it's built out a little accordion for us. And if you go over here, well, it looks like here we can change the icon. So we can use arrows instead. We can put them in a different order. We can add a description underneath the title if we want to say, which I always do that for accessibility. I say, select each tab to learn more. I like to tell the user what they're going to be doing and that is actually best practice. And I don't know if my computer's just locked up. What's going on there? I'm, and it did.
I'm on the internet. Hmm. Okay, well, we're seeing that there is some kind of issue with the loading, but uh, that's the first time that's happened to me, actually. So that could be on my end with my internet. Okay, so here, um, you know, it's pulled an image for you. It's got some more text. Just gonna jump through. It's got another accordion. And uh, this is a, a, you know, a timeline slider type of thing that you go through. This is flashcards. And then we have another accordion. So you see it's packed a lot of content because we wanted it to be comprehensive. It's got the final objectives there. And then, um, okay, so here you can add another screen. And so here are the options and the types of things that you can add. And it kind of gives you a little preview of what that looks like. So you can add files, you can embed things, you can add these different interactions if you want to manually add something. Now, for the quiz, you can either create it from scratch if you already have your questions, or you can have this generate a quiz for you. And we can even choose which screens to include. And so we'll go ahead and have it generate a quiz for us. It will create it and it will insert it. And again, this is just simply something that you have to preview and make edits to, to make sure it works for what you want. But you can see here, I've got this amazing course built and how much time has it been? Um, I'm showing seven minutes I've been on camera here. So this is unbelievable. Okay, um, I'm not gonna show you all of those questions, but I think if you've been watching, you can see it's got your standard question types. It's got select all, uh, put in order, matching, multiple choice. Okay, now, if you have a PowerPoint or a document of sort, you can actually upload that and have it create a course for you. So, it takes docs, PDFs, and PowerPoints. So, I've downloaded a PDF. And this is actually about a YouTube video I actually made on my channel that's only got 18 views. And this was like a month ago. And I don't know why I didn't get more views because it actually explains how going viral works and how you would, you know, start a social media account. I think it would, maybe it was just boring. But anyway, this is based on that particular video. I, ha I was able to download that in PDF format from Canva. And so I have all the content there. It's got all my slide notes and everything. And um, it's gonna create the course for me. And so this is great if you have existing content and you need to get it into an interactive format as soon as possible. And, and I won't take a whole lot of time to show you around this because I also want to show you how you preview these and how you can share them with others. And I don't want this video to be horribly long. Seems like my videos always end up being so darn long. Okay, and again, you can decide how much of that content you want to include. And I'm, I'm imagining you're probably pretty impressed with CoAssemble so far. I know I was when I saw that this heavy workload could be done for me. I think the biggest obstacle will be getting your content in a nice formatted format. You know, so it's not all scattered to get it into one document that has some kind of organization. So um, most of the content I work with is, is organized pretty good. I would think if you have really messy content, that could cause a problem. So I don't really know what's happening in here, you know, in this AI model to get this content ready. I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's going to follow whatever organizational system you have set up within the document. So this is still taking a long time. What else do I have to say? Oh. 
Oh, okay. So I can also transfer the images that were in this PDF. Oh, but I've got to have the business plan. I'm on the free plan. Actually, it lets you do a whole lot on the free plan. That's what really super impressed me. Um, okay, so now it's going to go ahead and create all of the screens. So this is once again, it, we're going to be waiting and it's going to be jumping all around. And so this is a flashcard thing. It's pretty cool. I like the little flashcards. And oh, well, let me show you this. So here's how you can reorder them if you have content in it and not it's not in the right order. And then the three dots. Oh, you can duplicate to reuse or you can delete on the three dots. So that's how you can reorder. So because like down here, if you add another screen, you know, then that you're going to have to move it up using those errors arrows I mean <laughs> I haven't made videos in a long time I forgot how to be civilized I guess <laughs> and talk like a human um, okay so that's done and like I said I don't want to spend a whole lot of time on this but you can see it's taken all my content it's added it, images these are not from my content because remember I needed the business plan to do that but it still has um, nice pictures it's kind of funny they have Donald Trump's <laughs> Twitter I guess um, anyway okay so that is that now how do you share it you can go to share you can get a link right here and go preview it now i'm going to show you that in a minute but let's go back here and i'll let me show you where you can share it to a, a learning management system so this is where you can download as a scorm so it looks like i've got to upgrade in order to use scorm yep upgrade so anyway uh, that's how you would do that but let me show the links are good for the free plans and I don't even think there's a limit on how many you can make but this is how you could preview it so you can see your navigation is down here just like it would be oh and it forces you to go through the content it doesn't look like that's an option I don't know if you can shut that off or not but it opens up the tabs for you Uh, the the other thing I would think this is not the best for is audio to have some kind of narration that was the other downfall it's not just the videos but um, there's not audio so let's just go back and take a look seems like I figured out how you could add that um, because that's a pretty important accessibility type of thing. Oh, gosh, it seems like I saw this somewhere, how to do this. Maybe. Nope, looks like looks like you can't. It's just I don't know. Maybe that was another program I've been on so many. So the audio is a pretty big deal that you can't have it read. So and I mean people run into that same problem with Rise too. But in Rise you can add in an audio block so you can have the content read. And that is if you're meeting full accessibility standards, you add a, an audio block to the top of a page. Doesn't look like that's an option here. But anyway, super great alternative if you need to get content out quickly or actually just get some help on ideas. I mean, just to see how 
this model organizes information. It can help you to organize your own information in your courses. So anyway, I've rambled on long enough. You've got the idea. This is called coassemble.com. They've got the free plan. You can make all kinds of courses. Go play around because this is awesome. And there's going to be lots more programs like this coming up in the future. I mean, this is just the beginning. So jump in now while it's easy to understand. <laughs> That's my opinion. Have a great day. Thank you.